Many thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone and welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. It's a nice sunny day outside, it's very cold, my hands are freezing on the camera, but I thought I should do a short introduction on the outside because who knows when I'm going to be able to have a video with some snow in the background. So today I'm going to start really quick uh, with some bad news. I deleted the DX Explorer blog uh, that if you did not read yet the, the post that I made on, on YouTube already. And the reason for that is because I'm trying to get more free time in order to uh, be able to do about a lot of uh, personal things, to take care of uh, personal things and uh, uh, also to make to have more free time uh, to be able to make these uh, YouTube videos just because usually I'm very limited with the free time and uh, I'm kind of struggling to to make the videos uh, one of the main main reasons that I did this is because um, hopefully next year if I'm lucky and things go well I will return to my life at sea out on the ocean leaving uh, aboard my sailboat um, a new one so I have to take care of that. Uh, I have to work very hard to make and save money to buy another sailboat and uh, prepare for this. And hopefully uh, I'll get to sail around the world alone. We'll see how things go. But uh, yeah, this is one of the main reasons. Uh, sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to uh, fulfill your dreams. So uh, yeah, today um, let's talk really quick about the PTT Core 2 CW transceiver. I updated this design as well to correct the low pass filter and whatever mistakes uh, um, we had in there. And uh, I thought I should not make a video about this one, but uh, I'd like to have an updated video on the uh, PCB Way project uh, uh, page uh, on the PTT Core 2. So here we are with the video and then I'll get back to normal. I replaced all the links. Uh, if you remember on the blog articles uh, on the X Explorer, I used to have buttons uh, where you could download the files for each project. Uh, right now, I'm hosting those files on the uh, Sailing and Outdoor Adventures website and uh, I'm putting all those links uh, in the video description on YouTube. So I already updated all the video descriptions so far, so you'll be able to uh, download uh, the fi those files from the video description from now on. So uh, yeah, uh, by the way, a long time ago, I also built and tested the um, uh, W80B uh, CW transceiver, which was um, inspired from the PTT Co. And it's somehow a mix between the PTT Co, the original design, and the PTT Co 2, the one with the audio amplifier that we're going to build today. And uh, that one is a lot simpler. It has only two or three transistors, I believe. Um, and uh, you're supposed to use that one with the high impedance headphones. Initially, I thought of not designing a PCB board for that one, just because I thought we have PTT Co 2. Uh, with an audio amplifier but in case you want something simple based on transistors only and you would like to use it with uh, high impedance headphones let me know and i'll design a pcb board for that one as well and probably make one last video on uh, on that transceiver also so anyway that's it with the introduction long talk is not good so <laughs> let's get back inside and start working on uh, on the ptt co2 but of course not without saying thank you to my friends at pcb way who are always sponsoring and supporting dx explorer remember they have great pcb prototyping services cnc 3d printing smd stencils and a lot more services available for you they also have a great store where you can buy a lot of useful stuff for your projects. And if you do not have a, a PCB Way account just yet, have a look down in the video description. Uh, use the link that I'm providing over there and you'll get a discount on your first order. As I'm always saying, PCB Way is the way. All right, so we're inside right now because uh, my hands were freezing on the camera outside. So uh, on the screen you have the updated schematic of the PTT Co2 CW transceiver. Uh, basically it's uh, the simple PTT Co transceiver uh, and I added uh, an LM386 audio amplifier. So uh, here we have the simple version of the PTT Co. You can tell from the size of the PCB board 
and over here is the new PCB board uh, that I designed for the PT Tico 2 which also has the audio amplifier included. Now the problem with the PT Tico which is a great transceiver is that you will need um, an external audio amplifier uh, preferably one with high gain in order to be able to uh, listen properly to the audio signal. I tried um, a telephone speaker which uh, uh, Miguel recommended in his original article but I wasn't so lucky. This one has around 300 ohms. I also tried with some um, high impedance headphones but this one did not work either uh, even though it was uh, already written in the um, original article from Miguel that uh, high impedance headphones don't work. So for that reason I designed um, the PT Tico 2 uh, just to avoid uh, having to carry with me an external audio amplifier and this one it's somehow half of a pixie maybe. <laughs> So this is the older version, the older uh, board design, full of dust right now because I put it aside uh, so I can move all the components on the new board and uh, I thought uh, to make it more uh, close to, to a square because it would be easier to put it in an enclosure. So I hope you will like it. I will uh, not take your time but uh, I will uh, slowly move all the components on the new board and after that we're going to start uh, testing it, adjusting it and uh, do some uh, testing and hopefully if there's uh, some propagation we get to listen to some signals as well. Well, I'm done transferring all the components on the new board. Um, I had a few issues, um, but it sounds great as you could hear earlier. Now I have some AM broadcast band interferences uh, usually around this time in the evening um, but no wonder the antennas from the um, relay or whatever it is uh, <laughs> are just a few kilometers away from me and they're transmitting with a huge power so um, there's no doubt that I'm going to receive some uh, AM broadcast band interferences. But usually that it's uh, short a little bit um, in the evening for like an hour or two and after that they seem to disappear. Not completely but uh, you won't be able to hear them much. Now uh, I ran into a couple of issues. I no longer had the right value trimmer capacitor so I just put whatever I had. But for that reason I couldn't manage to get it to transmit on 7.020 because I'm using a, a 7.020 crystal. I ran out of 7.030 crystals. So uh, right now it's transmitting somewhere around 7.019195 something around there. Um, also I run out of 2N2222 transistors so I'm using a BC107. Um, most probably the power output uh, would be a lot lower and the 470 uh, picofarads capacitors that I have on the filter on the output they uh, measured they only have 435 picofarads I believe they were uh, so they're not the right value that's what you get when you use uh, cheap capacitors uh, but probably I'm going to replace this later on. But I'm going to do a test out of curiosity to see the power output that we get and uh, also the harmonic suppression and of course we get to listen to the way it sounds into the true SDX. Alright so I'm powering the PT Tico with 12 volts from the power supply that I have right here and I connected the RF uh, meter and uh, slash dummy load I'm going to transmit really quick to see the power output. Yeah, just a little bit over 100 milliwatts with this BC107. Not bad, I could even leave it like this. 
but uh, probably I'm going to replace it with a with a two one two 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 with a higher amplification factor uh, that will give me a power output somewhere around 500 milliwatts 700 milliwatts maybe um, on uh, 12 volt uh, power but it sounds nice So uh, yeah, this is the way it sounds into the TrueSDX. Now I'm going to swap the dummy load and connect the TrueSDX to the dummy load and I'll be right back so we get to hear how the TrueSDX sounds into the PTTCO. All right, so only 100 milliwatts. Huh. Eh, it's okay. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to order uh, probably some transistors. I will replace this one, as I was saying, with the 2N2222. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'm still going to replace the crystal since I want this transceiver on a QRP frequency. So definitely I'm going to replace it with a 7.030 MHz. And definitely I'm going to replace these two capacitors, the trimmer capacitors, so I can get it to work on the frequency that I want and have the uh, proper um, um, offset frequency. Because if you could hear earlier from the uh, time that I was transmitting from uh, the true SDX into the PT Tico, it's not quite there. I mean, it could be adjusted a little bit more, but I think the value of these two capacitors is way too big and uh, they're somewhere around 120 picofarads and i can't remember the smallest value but i think that's like 60 picofarads or something around there and also uh, definitely i'm going to replace the capacitors on the on the output filter uh, to get the right value but out of curiosity let's check the harmonic suppression because i'm very curious about that one and after that i guess we're done with a video for today all right, so I connected the PTTCO to the TinySA through the RF tab that I built some while ago. And uh, just like I did on the PTTCO uh, CW transceiver, as you can tell over here, this is the level of the oscillator. Uh, I believe right now it's somewhere around minus 52.4 dB. So uh, let's transmit and see how high the fundamental goes somewhere around minus 19 db 19.4 and the second harmonic it's under minus 50 oops so the second harmonic is at minus 54 could be a little bit lower but I guess this is what I'm getting if the value of those two 470 capac uh, picofarads capacitors are not 470 it's messing up my filter the third harmonic looks all right but the second one is still a little bit too high it could be uh, it could go uh, maybe like 10 decibels a little bit lower but anyway I'll have to replace those two capacitors anyway and after that I will adjust the filter to make sure that the second harmonics it's also okay so uh, yeah well it's not bad not that bad uh, comparing to the way it used to be a long time ago when I only used the simple Pi Network filter and I didn't have the modified filter on it so yeah i'm happy but i will have to replace those uh, <laughs> those two capacitors to to make sure that it works fine and i don't get any interferences anyway i hope you like it as much as i do um, i like the simple ptico cw transceiver uh, just because it's very simple i don't have it right now on the table but i like this version as well just because i have the audio uh, amplifier incorporated into the transceiver and it's some sort of simpler version of the pixie uh, transceiver sounds about the same 
The power output definitely is not the same, but probably with a better transistor I might get a little bit more uh, power output, just like I used to do with the older version when I had about 700 milliwatts output power. So uh, yeah, I like it. I like it very much. So again, let me know in the video description if you'd like me to uh, design a PCB board for the W80B. Uh, CW transceiver, the version which is somehow be, uh, as, as um, uh, complexity is somewhere between the PT Tico and the PT Tico 2. Uh, so basically, I believe that one is only has two transistors um, the oscillator and one that is used as audio amplifier for the high impedance headphones, and uh, that version is fun as well. This one works great with regular headphones, and I really like it. So, anyway. Um, I guess that's it for today. I'm not going to keep the video longer. I'm trying to make shorter videos and probably soon I will start to simplify the videos, um, trying to make them shorter but explain a little bit more and uh, go straight to the point without talking so much and only talk uh, when it's really necessary. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then. 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo and have an amazing rest of the week.